Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking through installing WordPress on your Ubuntu based computer. So WordPress is an open source software that you can use to create any beautiful website, blog or web application. So the reason WordPress is the most popular one and it's being used around 40% for all those blog applications is because of so many powerful features offered by WordPress and its wonderful community. So let's just talk through these features. Uh, the first one is customizable design. So WordPress offers you a wide range of themes available within WordPress repository that you can use to make any customizable design that you would like. And you can also customize the designs for the using WP admin and the dashboard. The WordPress comes up with all those SEO things that Google likes. So your URL structures, your meta tags, all those things can be achieved using using WordPress really easily. The websites, they are responsive, so they work really well for iPads, mobile, desktop, all kind of devices. So your customers are going to be happy because they'll be seeing the right version they would like to see on your WordPress CMS. If you're expecting a high volume of traffic, considering WordPress is lightweight, it's going to handle that really very well. So it's really good with performance wise. WordPress officials has a mobile app that you can use to curate or manage your content while you are traveling or going anywhere from anywhere, anytime. Now security. So I have heard from many people that WordPress is not safe. It's not secure. They got hacked, but it's not like that. If you are just following the right patterns, you're going to be fine. So let's say just make sure you use the strong passwords. You don't keep your sensitive information within WP content directory and you always update your plugin and themes and you apply all those security pages provided by the WordPress community and you're gonna be fine security wise. Powerful media management. WordPress dashboard comes up with a way to manage images and videos efficiently and that's all done through WP admin. It's easy, it's accessible, it comes up with so many plugins that you can use to extend your website's functionality. So altogether, those features makes WordPress wonderful. So let's just get to the practical part where we'll be uh, going through installing WordPress on Ubuntu. So I'm gonna open the terminal and the very first thing I'm gonna do is install all the dependencies that it requires. So I'm gonna install PHP, PHP, MySQL and MySQL server that it requires. So as you can see, it's already installed in my system. So I can just show you what version I'm using here. So as you can see, I'm using 7.4.3. So if you require any extensions, you, you need to require those for 7.4 as a PHP version. The next thing is creating the database. So to create the database, the first thing you need to do is log in as root for MySQL. Make sure you use sudo command. So I'm in for the root user. Now the next thing is we'll create a database. So uh, let's just create a user first. So I'm going to run create user WordPress at the rate localhost identified by password, which is going to be WordPress at the rate one to three. Now the password I have used here is pretty easy, but make sure if you're running it on production make sure you use a strong password so the user is created now i'm going to create a database database exists so i'm just gonna use another one let's say wordpress underscore one so that's created as well and now i'm going to grant all the permissions to the user so grant all privilege to WordPress at the rate local host on database name. So the database name here is WordPress and then just wait. So we need to select the database which is this go one and done. So we are done with creating database. We created the user and we do have the password as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is download the WordPress installable file. So to do that, just open a new tab and let me just increase the phone size. Okay. So now go to get WordPress, click on download and install, and it's going to give you this button. You can either click on that button or just copy the link. So you can directly use the wget command to put it on the right folder. So I'm just going to go to www.html and then here I'm going to type wget and this particular URL. So WordPress is downloading. Now I'm going to unzip this file, clear the 
terminal and let's make sure you delete the chip for the security purpose and now the wordpress is ready i can just go back and you know access wordpress from here so localhost wordpress okay so it's ready let's just do the configuration database name as you remember we did wordpress the user oh, okay it's wordpress underscore one and then the username is wordpress password let's just double check what was the password password is wordpress at the rate one two three so and again the prefix you can change that if you would prefer it's all the table prefix that's going to be used while creating the schema click on submit because the directory is not writable so it's going to give you file content that you need to paste to wp config so let's just copy it all using Control a go back and then within your wordpress directory you can simply create a file called wpconfig.php so paste all the content here from your content here and go back terminal paste it's all done now as you can see the file is ready and we are all good to click on run the installation so learning wordpress username i'm going to keep admin but again for security purposes make sure you use the any unique username <clears throat> next thing is password so again make sure you use a strong password but because we are demonstrating here i'm just going to use a weak password confirm use of weak password and you can give any email here testing at the hello.com now this one search engine visibility so let's say if you are making a website which is something you're testing or you're just playing around then you can always check this box which is gonna hide your website from search engines like google or bing uh, but it's not recommended if you are, if you actually want to put it in uh, in front of google which is something you will always require if you are doing it for production purpose so click on install wordpress and now as you can see we're getting some errors here so that's because we need to allow our current user to have the permission to create data data tables or you know add the data to the table so i'm gonna assign that permission so again login back to your root user so let me just okay so here we are now i'm just gonna exit and start again here i am so we need to start and we need to give it to the user called wordpress so let's do that done now we need to flush privileges and then exit so that's done now just go back and refresh this so that's all done uh, now we can log in and i'm gonna do admin and the password here which was i think test at 323 okay done so we are logged in as you can see this is the dashboard and let's see how the front end looks like so you can just click visit site and it's gonna show you the front end so that's how the installation looks like your wordpress website is ready and now you can go ahead and customize it install any themes install any plugins or make any customizations make new pages create posts or just play around so thank you for watching if you like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you would like to see the next video on how to actually add the content to your wordpress website how to use themes how to create a theme from scratch make sure you put it in the comment and we will definitely do it for you thank you so much and goodbye